Welcome back to my channel. This is Aksha Robert. So in my today's video, we'll be discussing about magnetic circuit. It's the part two of magnetic circuit. First, we'll be discussing about parallel magnetic circuit and composite magnetic circuit. So what is a parallel magnetic circuit? Circuit having more than one parallel path for the magnetic flux is called parallel magnetic circuit. Circuit which comprises of more than one type of magnetic material is called composite magnetic circuit. Now let's do the comparison between an electric circuit and a magnetic circuit. In an electric circuit, driving force of current is EMF, which is electromotive force. In a magnetic circuit, driving force of flux is MMF, which is magnetomotive force. When EMF is applied, there is a flow of current in an electric circuit. And when MMF is applied, there is a flow of flux in a magnetic circuit. The opposition offered to the flow of current is resistance in an electric circuit and the opposition op offered to the flow of flux is reluctance in a magnetic circuit. Reciprocal of resistance is conductance and the reciprocal of reluctance is permeance. No. Voltage drop is IR in an electric circuit and MM of drop is phi S in a magnetic circuit where phi is the flux and S is the reluctance. Equivalent resistance is sum of resistance in a series electric circuit. Equivalent reluctance is sum of reluctance in a series magnetic circuit. In electric circuit, we have Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, the sum of voltage rise is equal to sum of voltage drop in a closed circuit. And in a magnetic circuit, we have Kirchhoff's MMF law. So, according to Kirchhoff's MMF law, the sum of MMF rise is equal to sum of MMF drop in a closed magnetic circuit. For an electric circuit, we have Kirchhoff's current law. So, according to Kirchhoff's current law, the sum of current entering a node is equal to the sum of current leaving the node. In a magnetic circuit, we have Kirchhoff's flux law. So, according to Kirchhoff's flux law, the sum of flux entering a circuit is equal to the sum of flux leaving the node. Next, we'll be discussing about how to draw an electric analogous circuit to a given magnetic circuit. So, here we have a cast ion, a current carrying cast ion, and the reluctance in the uh, cast ion is S1. The number of turns of the coil, current carrying coil, is N and the current in the coil is I. We are attaching another material which is cast steel to this cast iron. The reluctance of cast steel is S2. Then we are attaching another material which is nickel with reluctance S3. Then we have chromium with reluctance S4 and there's an air gap here which is SG. So AB is cast iron, BC is cast steel, CD is nickel, AE is chromium and ED we have an air gap. Now we're gonna do the electric circuit of this. So the MMF here is NI. 
So the source of MMF and the cosine is Ni. So here the MMF will be produced by the battery. Here we have S1, the reluctance, and here we have R1, resistance. So S1 is being replaced by R1. S2 is re be replaced by R2. S3 is being replaced by R3. S4 is being replaced by R4. And SC is being replaced by RG. In a magnetic circuit, uh, due to MMF, we have flow of flux. And in an electric circuit, due to EMF, we have flow of current. So the current flows through R1, then goes through R2, then R3, then RG, and R R4. So here the flux flows from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and then E to A again. So the flux flows here. Now we're going to write the equation for the electric circuit. So according to Kruf-Tesla, law, the sum of voltage twice is equal to sum of voltage drop in a closed circuit. So here, we, as we move from here, there's an voltage rise, which is E. Then here we have voltage drop, which is I into R1. Then voltage drop I into R2. Then voltage drop I into R3. Voltage drop I into RG, voltage drop I into R4. So we have added the voltage drops together on one side and the voltage rise on the other side. We're going to do the same equation for this magnetic circuit. So E here is Ni because MMF is Ni here. Then current here is flux there. So I here will be phi. I is being replaced by 5, S R1 is being replaced by S1, phi I, R2 is being replaced by S2, R3 is being replaced by S3, R D is being replaced by SG, R4 is being replaced by S4. So when you do that, you get the equation Ni equal to phi S1 plus phi S2 plus phi S3 plus phi SG plus 5s4 next we have a same same circuit same magnetic circuit here uh, the one in the previous slide is being displayed here we're just gonna add a uh, one more section to it yeah so this becomes a composite parallel magnetic circuit. Now let's see how to solve this composite parallel magnetic circuit. I've labeled AB is, contains the MMF source with a reluctance of S1 then in BC we have S2, in CD we have S3, in DA we have S4 and in A F we have S7 and then Fe we have S6 then Eb we have S5. Now the flux due to the MMF flows from here phi. When it reaches here it splits into two so the phi1 flows to BC and phi2 flows through BE and then they flow come back they flow back. Next we are going to draw the equivalent electric circuit for this magnetic circuit. So the MMF here will be replaced by a battery in an electric circuit as you already know and S1 has been replaced by R1, S2 here has been replaced by R2, S3 replaced by R3. S4 replaced by R4. S5 replaced by R5. S6 replaced by R6. S7 replaced by R7. Now the current due to EMF 
is here when the current reaches here it splits into two I1 flows through this R2 and I2 flows through R5 I1 flows through R3 R4 and then go back to the negative then I2 flows to R6 R7 back to negative so we have labeled it now we're going to write the equation for this circuit first we'll be writing the equation for the first loop let's say a b c d a is the first loop and we're going to write the equation for that so a from a as we go to b we have a voltage rise which is e so e and then we have voltage drop i1 i into r1 so here equal to i into r1 then again voltage drop so plus i1 into r2 then again voltage drop so plus i1 into r3 again voltage drop so plus i1 into r4 now we'll move on to the next equation which will be for the second loop so which is a b e f a this loop so if you see here also first it's e which is voltage rise so e equal to we have voltage drop here i into r1 then voltage drop again so plus i into i2 into r5 voltage drop again i2 into r6 voltage drop again so plus i2 into r7 we got two equation using the Kripta's voltage law now we're going to use Kripta's current law to get an another equation so that we can solve these three equation and get the values get the unknown values so according to Kripta's current law the sum of current entering a node is equal to the sum of current leaving the current that's entering is i and the current that's leaving is i1 and i2 so i equal to i1 plus i2 simple now we just gonna replace the electrical quantities in this electrical equation with the magnetic quantities to get a magnetic equation and get the unknowns in the magnetic circuit so E will be MMF here so MMF is NI and then I will be flux here so that's phi R1 will be S1, R2 will be S2, or R3 will be S3, R4 will be S4. Same way we write the equation for the second loop also. Same thing. Then in electric circuit we have Kripta's current law. In the magnetic circuit we have Kripta's flux law. So these are the flux entering is equal to the flux leaving. So there's an flux entering that's phi the flux leaving is phi 1 and phi 2 next we have um, a bit complicated circuit I mean not complicated so in this circuit we have two MMF cells in two corners I mean two sides so in A, B we have an MMF source and E, F we have an MMF source. If you see the circuit, if you take a close look at the circuit, this is the transformer's frame. This is how a transformer scoreboard looks like. This will be the primary and this will be the secondary side so there we give ac but here we're gonna supply dc current to boot the uh, branches a b and f so if you see here a b we have the mmf then bc we have s2 and phi 1 flowing through that because of this mmf here because of this first mmf we have phi 1 and then that flows through all over this phi 1 flows so in s2 we have phi 1 then s3 we have s4 we have in this circuit we have phi 2 in the second mmf we have phi 2 that flows through here 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 and if you see in the middle we have both phi 1 and phi 2 coming so that'll become phi phi 1 plus phi 2 we give phi 
Now we will come back to these equations once we are done with the electric circuit. Now we are going to replace the MMF there, the first MMF there with the E1, the S1 with R1, S2 with R2, S3 with R3, S4 with R4, and the second MMF, MMF2 will be E2, then S5 with R5, S6 with R6, S7 with R7. Simple. Now the current that's flowing through this will be I1. I1 flows all the way here to R2. And then here we have I2 flowing, which goes to R6. Then they both combine together while passing to R3, just like the phi flex. So I flows, and then they go back. They split again as I1 here and I2 here. Now we'll write the equation for the first loop that will be A, B, C, D, A. So A, B, C, D, A. This loop we're going to write the equation. So as you know, E1 will be voltage rise, then I1 into R1 is voltage drop. So I1 into R1 plus I2 into R2 plus I into R3 plus I1 into R4. That will be our first equation. Then second equation for the second loop, that's C, D, E, F, C. C, D, E, F, C. This loop. I mean, sorry, this loop. So if you see here, I2 with voltage rise, and in the voltage drop we have the others. So I2 into R5 plus I2 into R6 plus I into R3 plus I2 into R7. Now we got two equations, and the third equation will be I1 plus I2 will be this I. We know the current entering here is I1 and I2. The current leaving is I, so this sum of current entering is equal to the sum of current leaving. So this is how we got that. So if you see here, we are going to the equation. So just like we got the current equation, we're going to get the equation for the magnetic circuit. So if you see here, A to B, there is MMF. So that will be N1 into I1. So in the voltage rise, we have N1 into I1. I mean, sorry, MMF rise, we have N1 into I1. Then we have phi that's flowing through the S1. Phi, so that's voltage drop. So phi1 into S1 plus phi2 into S2 plus 5 into S3 plus 5 1 into S4 that will be our first equation here then here we're gonna do it for the second loop that's this loop C D E F C so same way here we have N2 and I2 so the MMF here is N2 into I2 that's the voltage rise, I mean, MMF rise. So when it comes to MMF drop, if you see here, F2E is drop. So we have S phi 2 into S6 plus phi into S3 plus 5 into S7. Plus we have 5, um, 2 into S5 you know this one so we got two equations here now the third equation with the flux law I and mean, Kirchhoff's flux law so that'll be the phi 1 plus phi 2 is phi 3 so phi 1 plus phi 2 is phi 3 so that's how you solve this magnetic circuit thank you for watching this is Aksha signing off I'll meet you guys on another video Bye.